Today we will be reading a nonfiction book called How to Hide a Butterfly and Other Insects. We will learn real information about butterflies and other bugs. What do you know about butterflies? What other insects do you know about? If you take a careful look, you'll see how creatures in this book are camouflaged and out of view. Although they're right in front of you, how to hide a butterfly and other insects. This page says that creatures in this book are camouflaged. The word camouflaged is written in capital letters. That means that that word is important. What do you think camouflaged might mean? As we read, you will see clues that will help you understand this word better. Think about what it means as we read the, the book out loud. The butterfly that you see here just folds its wings to disappear. Can you find the butterfly in this illustration? How does the butterfly make itself disappear? This moth will do a different thing. It covers up each underwing so all that anyone can see is the bark upon a tree. Where is that moth? Why do you think that the butterfly and the moth need to hide? The inchworm's feet are at both ends. To move, it stretches and it bends. Then it performs a magic trick and imitates a twig or stick. Oh, can you find him? This is a hard one. The praying mantis likes to make a sound just like a hissing snake and spread its wings to scare a foe it somehow always seems to know it won't be seen when dining where the leaves are green. Can you find that praying mantis? He's really hidden well. Gra grasshoppers leap sometimes three feet. And what you thought that you just saw now looks more like a bit of straw. Can you find them? Take a good look. This fly you see looks like a bee and thereby fools its enemy. But here's a clue I'll tell to you Flies only have one pair of wings while bees, look at the fly. How many wings does it have? How many wings are there in a pair of wings? Let's see what the bee has. You see, have two. So the fly has one pair of wings, but the bees have two pairs of wings. 
Where is the fly? Can you tell which one it is? How can you tell that it is a fly and not a bee? Spiders are not insects, as I'm sure you know, but this spider is a hider, and she's very, very slow to change herself to yellow and then to pink or white, depending on the flower that she decides is right. Where, can she, where she can wait to catch her prey and still be out of sight. She's on these pages three times. Can you find her all three times? Take a good look. Because the world is hostile, all creatures need protection. They need to hide so thoroughly that they defy detection. So some of them use camouflage to fade away with ease from predators who like to dine upon these predators. But predators to live must eat, so also fade and are discreet. And then their prey on which they sup can't see who's going to eat them up. Today, boys and girls, you have a choice of activities. You can either go outside and take a picture of an insect that you find and send it to me on Remind, or you can draw a picture of an insect in a camouflaged setting, label it so I can see them, and take a picture of that and send it to me. I hope you enjoyed the story.